My name is Richard Clarkson and I am 25, living in Brooklyn, New York. And I am a designer slash artist who for the last couple of years has started a studio and created this product called The Cloud. Uh, it's an interactive speaker lamp that produces uh, music reactions, uh, lightning, thunder, all sorts of things. The idea for The Cloud came about during Hurricane Sandy and the sort of sheer power of it was sort of awe-inspiring. For someone coming from New Zealand, fairly mild weather systems, had never been through that sort of experience before. Every cloud's different, unique, it's all handmade here in the studio. We uh, fluff each one individually and so it, each one is different in shape and and does vary slightly in size. Uh, it was all built around the same skeleton, so each unit has the same base shape, but we do try and uh, get a little bit of variation in there. It is a cloud after all that's supposed to be a little bit um, ambiguous with its shape. This is the beginnings of the cloud. We actually custom mold these. We built the mold. Uh, these are vacuum formed, uh, perfectly designed so that they house the speaker, house everything that they need to there. We've got all sorts of different sensors in here, from microphone, motion sensor, IR receiver, uh, all sorts of other things uh, that start to get added in around the stage. Uh, from here, we would go to the soldering bay next and start putting in the actual brains of the cloud. Our idea is that it's paying homage to a real thunderstorm and it, we can never recreate that power and, and probably for good reason, but that we, can, that we can start to offer that, a little piece of that into your own home that you could control. And I think there is a little bit of like this sort of godlike sense in pressing a button and, and creating a thunderstorm. It's very Zeus sort of with the thunderbolt type thing. I think Brooklyn does influence my work. I mean, it, of course it does. It's, it's where we live and where we work. But I think the, the sort of atmosphere of, of Brooklyn is a really, uh, it's a strange uh, thing to put a word on it, but it's, it's, it's really conducive to producing creative things. There's a lot of support networks. There's a lot of people just interested in, in interesting things, which, uh, which makes for a pretty fertile sort of nesting house for different sorts of ideas, different sorts of, of projects and pieces. I would describe my job as, I don't know, it's a really interesting question. So we, we, we build clouds for a living, which in itself is a strange uh, job title. Um, we also do a lot of other things as well, a lot of sort of lighting and, and furniture pieces. Hello, hello. And then you see how it kind of flashes all sorts of colours on the peaks? Yeah. And I think that that emotional connection to this furniture piece, this lamp, the speaker, makes it into something that's a little bit more than your everyday speaker. Uh, it does enable you to start to have a, a little bit of a relationship with it. Uh, do you think these little indicator lights need to... See, look, now it's kind of orange down here. Yeah. Uh, so it's kind of like blue down here and yellow and red. Oh no, I think it's good because it's like... Hello, hello. You kind of just have to guess. I'm very science-minded. Um, I studied geology at university. Rich's brain just works completely differently to me. So we can take two things and both come up with completely different, different solutions, which I think works quite well, but... He comes up with stuff which... I would never think was possible and somehow manages to turn it into an amazing product that we can sell and yeah. It's interesting for us, uh, having been around the cloud so long, that it, it sort of takes a bit of, of remembering what it was like when we first sort of made the cloud uh, and, and what it's like for other people seeing the cloud for the first time. I think we've gone through so many small steps to get to where they are now that we sort of forget uh, kind of how, how interesting they are and how what it feels like to, to look at them and, and press the thunder button. 
And so one of my favorite things is actually bringing people in and, and showing them the clouds and giving them the remote and saying, look here, go press this button and watch it thunder and lightning. And I think that's, been, that's one of my sort of most rewarding parts of it is being able to, to share my first experience with the cloud with other people. Uh, and I think that's been the way we, we hope to carry on.